media um so yeah i probably i don't even know if i want to come back much negativity like all the shade room pages and the little tea play the tea pages and stuff like it just make things worse and it's like certain people got the wrong attention like from from stupid stuff and it's just messing up everything like, i just want to start all over like i i want to start over i'm just tired of everybody only knowing me just from being somebody baby mama or every time something happened with him and other girls my name get brought up into it and everybody think that they know me and stuff and like i said in real life this is not me like I'm not no evil hearted person. I don't like negativity. I'm not messy. I'm not none of that. And I just feel like social media has brainwashed me and made me just think that I have to be this evil, mean type of person. And I know that that's not me in real life. Like, I know that's not me. I know that I got a good heart. So I just see myself going downhill. So I'm just trying to change, like, all the way. Like, I'd have, I'd have made a mistake and backtrack and, you know, made a dumb decision, but it's really okay because, like, you just can't sit on shit and harp on it. Like, I'm young. I still have time to stop me from, you know, accomplishing the, you know, what everybody else got to say about me or what this person saying about me or trying to clear stuff up or, you know, just too much of the wrong stuff that's not bringing the right things into my life, like... So I'm just about, I'm about to shut my website down, my social medias and all that. But on the good side, um, I am about to relaunch my brand. Um, this I'm adding more stuff to my brand and stuff. So I'm really just about to get all that together. Like I'm just about to take my time and focus on all that. Um, getting getting my warehouse together for Jordan B Beauty, decorating my stuff. Like I really just about to just take my time and just focus on myself and being a better person for my son because um after like i'm not speaking on no situation but everybody know what's going on and the stuff that was said and things like it was a lot of stuff that i found out yesterday that i did not know about and i'm not gonna speak on it or anything but yeah um i found out a lot of stuff yesterday i found out you know, bad things, things that happened to me that I didn't know nothing about. Um, so yeah, but at the end of the day, I just want everybody to be happy. Like nothing about me is delusional. I'm not crazy or anything like that. It's just that when you really love somebody and you be there for somebody through whatever and it's just like you get slapped in your face. It's 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 hard. Like it's really hard. And I just can't take it no more. Like I just know I'm way better than this. Like I know I'm way better than all of this that's going on on social media. I know I'm way bigger than all of this. So I just know it's much more to life. Like it's like all of this I don't have to do. So I'm just about to take a break from social media. And I just really hope that people that support me and, you know, really love me genuinely and support me genuinely. Um, I just hope that y'all understand because like this is just too much. Like it's embarrassing. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's so embarrassing. I just feel like I embarrass myself and I just have secondhand embarrassment from situations that don't have nothing to do with me i my name still get brought up and pulled into shit that don't have nothing to do with me and it's just so aggravating and i'm changing my numbers as well because i'm just tired of people calling my phone trying to harass me over stuff that i have no control over and harassing me on social media like i'm just tired and like, I just need to not make myself as accessible, um, you know, 
it's just a lot but i just want to let y'all know because like i'm i'm transparent like i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna fake like i'm perfect uh trying to fake like oh it's just so easy because it's really not but you know it's a life and this is what's gonna make me stronger like you know so with that being said i'm just about to you know take a break find myself like refine myself regroup get my business flowing get my warehouse decorated like just get my life all the way on the right path because like i thought my life was on the right path i thought i was doing the right thing but deep down i really wasn't like i wasn't doing the right thing and you know i'm just i'm gonna be okay i don't want y'all to be like oh pray for cheese this stressed and this and that i'm really not it's just that like i had to come to jesus moment like i just I, you just really get tired like you know sometimes you have to keep coming back keep coming around certain things to realize like this is not what i don't know i've been through i know that i could get through whatever like i have been through so much shit that nobody know about like you know, at this point, I don't care no more to try and clear it up, argue with nobody, go back and forth, or do, no, or, or do none of that. Because at the end of the day, social media is going to believe what some social media wants to believe. And that's what I have to understand. Like, this is just social media. Like, men and women and little kids that say stuff like, I just need to, like, just put that shit behind me and not worry about what y'all say. And really just love myself and focus on my happiness and that's when a real happiness is gonna come like because i be too focused on what y'all got to say or how somebody feel or i'm constantly getting stuff that people said about me sent to me and stuff like that like if you really love and support me like don't send me no negative bullshit like that goes for anybody like people that know me period like personally like you know it's just that i just need to get a different outlook on life and that's what's going on like that's what it is like i'm in my transitioning season and i could feel it because it's like to the point where you don't even hurt no more like you don't even want to cry no more it's just like fuck it and that's what i'm in with it so i just feel like me feeling like that and me deleting social media for a while taking a social media break and getting a good cleanse or like i need a life cleanse like a life detox so that's what i'm gonna do but I'm just get, I'm just, the only thing I'm focused on is my business, my child, and, you know, the people that really love me, and, um, God, like, you know, going back to church every Sunday, like, my, I grew up in a church home, my papa was a pastor and stuff, so, like, I just need to get my life back on track, because, like, this is not me, like, I just feel like the devil is really busy, and I feel like the type of world that I, I walked into, uh, being in the spotlight and stuff, I just feel like the devil is controlling all of that, and that's why it's just bringing so much negativity into my life, because, like, the devil just be busy i feel like with people who i don't know i don't know i don't want to start talking crazy and nobody think i'm crazy but i just feel like the devil is just real busy and i don't know like life is crazy like but anyways yeah i just hope y'all understand i'm just letting y'all know so when y'all see my page disappear i'm gonna try to think like you know anything crazy happened to me or did i did anything crazy to myself like I ain't doing anything crazy to myself. I'm doing the right thing, and that's letting all this go. Like, deleting Instagram. Like, I need a break. So, yeah. I love everybody that support me and that tell me positive things. And, you know, just be there. Like, you know, brought for my business, um, purchase things for my brand, everything. Like, I thank y'all. Um, so, yeah. I will see y'all. I don't know when. I don't know. But I'm about to deactivate my page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.